part two of your Christian Band's end of the year evaluations. If you haven't seen part one, please go back and watch it. We discussed evaluating your band's physical assets. Before we get started, I want to let you know that this video asks a lot of questions. If you're like me, you're probably watching while you're doing something else. And that's good. You're using your time wisely. But this session is going to be challenging to apply unless you have notes. So I created a free PDF evaluation checklist for you. It covers everything I'm talking about today. There's boxes to check off for each topic to help you easily see where you stand and what you need to do. You don't have to stop what you're doing to take notes if you click the link below or go to christianbandhelp.com forward slash band evaluation checklist to get your free checklist. Go ahead and do that now and let's get started. Your internet presence is probably the most important intangible asset of your band. Spend as much time as necessary evaluating and trying to find cost-effective ways to improve your ministry online. There are so many tools available for each platform and more being added daily that it's worth doing some research to find what works best for your band. Some components of your internet presence are your band's website, Facebook page, Twitter profile, YouTube channel, MySpace page if you still have one, Wikipedia page if you have one, and any platform that sells or plays your music, like Amazon, CD Baby, Spotify, Bandcamp, etc. After you've evaluated all the pages your band administrates, go a step farther and consider ways that you can expand your reach online. For example, are you leaving comments on other people's websites that point back to your website? Have you joined groups that talk about Christian music? What can you do to join your online concert promoting efforts with the efforts of each venue? One of my online mentors says the best thing we can do to promote ourselves online is to be everywhere. In other words, whenever a potential fan is online, they should be bumping into your band repeatedly. What can you do to make that happen? Next, look at your band name. Check the file you keep to prove usage of your band's name. Does it include posters or tickets from all your shows, especially those in states that you've not previously played? Does your partnership agreement, or whichever documents you use to spell out your band's legal structure, State who owns the band name and who gets to keep using it if members leave or the band breaks up. Do you all still agree on that? Now let's look at your songwriting and recording. Are you on track to release your next project? How many more songs do you need to write? How is the current way of songwriting working for the band? Do you have ideas of new methods to try? Have you chosen a studio? Did you like the last studio and engineers you used? Do you need to try something different? How are you handling the cover art and inserts? Who's doing the duplication and packaging? How is the band going to distribute the release? Now let's look at your copyrights. Do you need to reevaluate your decisions to register or not register songs with the Copyright Office? Check to see if your records of who owns which songs are correct and stored safely. Next, let's move on to your marketing. Review your physical press kit, EPK, contracts, and riders. What should be changed? Look at past interactions with the media, radio interviews, print articles, TV appearances, etc. What could you do better? How can you attract more media attention? What can you do to get more airplay? Is your one sheet up to date? Have you included recent media appearances in your press kit, website, and one sheet? There are a whole lot of topics to discuss here. Take time to discuss and research how your band can improve in all these areas. It will pay off next year. You do not need to have all the answers in one meeting. Break it up over several weeks if necessary. Try to come up with the next steps to take in each area and then prioritize those steps. 
Those priorities will help create your band's budget for the upcoming year. Don't forget to click the link below or go to christianbandhelp.com forward slash band evaluation checklist to get your free PDF checklist.